Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is July 23rd, 2016. It's currently 1.31 p.m. Chicago time. Okay, in this video I'm going to move away from doing my usual market forecasting and instead I'm going to show you some simple techniques utilizing the Fibonacci fan. Now, we're currently looking at a portion of the T-Bonds market. This is the daily T-Bonds chart. Uh, 2016, this is going from, let's say, around February to, let's see over here, it is June of 2016. Anyway, that's irrelevant for this lesson. What I want to draw your attention to are the Fibonacci fans. And this is a simple tool but it's very useful for calculating support and resistance. Now, I'm utilizing, utilizing excuse me, my provisions charting application. You can see here provisions charting, and we can see we have the T-bonds uh, up here. And there are two tools here that I'm going to be focusing on, and that is uh, this uh, Fibonacci ratio fan lines and the Fibonacci racial fan lines based on the close and that would be the for the first anchor which I'll explain the anchors here in a second okay to utilize the fan tool you need three points and that would be an A, B, and C and so what you're doing is you want to locate V patterns or inverted V patterns All right. You'll notice that right now I have this blue line here that is basically marking off some swings. This is a two bar swing chart and uh, all I do is I press the number two key and it makes it show or not show. And this just kind of helps me to quickly locate uh, the formations that I can possibly uh, utilize. Now. Take, for example, uh, this top right here, and this bottom, and this top. That forms a V. And this V formation can be used with the Fibonacci fan um, to potentially find future bottom support, such as what occurred right here. So you would use a V formation for prices that are moving away from that V, the last leg of that V. For example, in this V, we're going to call this A, B, and C. So you'd want a V formation when prices are moving down from C. You would use an inverted V formation such as this would be A, this would be B, this would be C. It's C. It's an upside down V. We call inverted V formation if prices are moving up from C because you're going to be looking then for potential resistance. Now, I mentioned or showed you two different tools for the Fib lines. One of them uses the extreme high or low for the starting A point. So for a V formation that would be the extreme high of A and then it would be the extreme bottom and top of B and C. If it was the other fan line tool Fibonacci which is based on the close A would start from the close and we would want for example for a V formation we would want the highest close in this area here which in this case if you'll notice, the close of the actual uh, peak of A in this V formation is actually down here. So the bar before it actually has a higher close. We would use this bar as A instead of this one when using the Fibonacci fans based on the close. And we're going to see how that all works out. So let's just go ahead and, and start out. Let's say, for example, that that we have this V formation and prices are currently moving down and none of this here has occurred yet. Everything you know from this this point on and I would say from this point on because you would want to start seeing this turn down first so that you can identify where C is. So I would say it had to be somewhere over here for a two bar swing. And once we've got this identified and prices have been going down and we are looking for where 
prices could likely find support. We can use first off the regular Fibonacci fan tool without the close. So this is going to be from the extreme. You can see my little cursor says A. So I locate A and I click on it. Now you notice it changes to B. And I'm going to locate B. Then it changes to C for me to click on C. And then you want to go and put D somewhere out here. It doesn't matter where out here you put it as long as you put it out far enough. Or each and every day you can just keep redoing it until price actually hits one of those support lines. But I'll just stick it out here somewhere just so you can see where it is. And you'll notice that this low did not hit any of these fan line supports. Okay, so none of these would have been hit for this actual bottom. Now we go to the next one, which was Fibonacci fan lines based on the close. The A, we want the highest close of that V formation, which is going to be this bar right here. So I'm going to click it for A and then do B and C as usual. And then again, I'll just click out here somewhere. Now you can see that as price came down, it actually found support right here on this particular fan, um, fan line. So the fan lines or, or the Fibonacci fan lines with the close as the A anchor uh, was the effective one. So normally what I would do is every day I would try both of them and look at where price is to use that along with any other kind of analysis that I have. Now, continuing on this, go ahead and delete that. Uh, let's say, for example, that um, we're looking for, let's say, this top here. Let's say we had uh, this V formation here. Well, here's a small V formation. You can do that. Uh, you can do the bigger ones. It's all up to you. As long as you have some kind of standard, in this case, my standard is two bar swing. So, for example, I'll go and let's see, I'm going to go from A, B, C as prices are going up. So, let's just try that. And this one is the regular fan lines. It's going to use the extreme of A, B. And this is an inverted V, by the way, that I'm working on. And I'll just put it out here somewhere. And see, that looked like it worked pretty good. It's close. It's not exact, but it's close. And you can see price reacted to it before, so uh, that would have been a pretty good place to look. But let's go ahead and use the other one just in case. And let's see, the lowest close would have been right here. So I'm going to click that bar to here, to here, and then go out here. Okay, and that one didn't do anything for us, well, except for right there. But let's get rid of that. So you can see one was, don't look for it exact but within a few ticks is okay. We also have this other extreme point that we can also use. So you can utilize whatever you see that are swing points here. So I'm going to go with the regular fan lines again. A, B, C, and then we'll just, I'm just going to go here even though you can just click anywhere you want out here because we already know in hindsight it was right here. And so you can see, yeah, that was pretty close too. And as far as the lowest close, that would have been this bar here. You can see it's not pre-rehearsed. I'm just flying from the seat of my pants here. But I want to show you how this tool is used. Okay, so the one worked pretty good in this time and not the other. Now, let's see. Let's, Let's go for this one right here, for example. And here we have this previous inverted V. So I'm going to start with the regular fans first. A, B, C, and then did it do it? Yeah, it nailed it. Okay, so that was pretty darn good. It nailed it here. And then we have this inverted looking for this one here. So let's just see if we get any of them. The interesting thing I'm noticing right off the bat without even starting is my eyeball, my eyes are, um, let me move this camera over here a little bit. My eyes are noticing that there is, you can see that there's tops here, there's a top here, and then you have a bottom here. So th something like this, I'd put a horizontal trend line on. Uh, in spite of the fan lines, but let me see what we get here. A, B, C, let's see if any of them would have would have provided information. Nope. 
Let's try the close one. So the highest close is this green bar right here. So we'll go A, B, C. See if any of those. So none of those. Okay. Let's do a horizontal trend line here and uh, just put it in this top here and see what we get. All right. Yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm going back here and I can see back here as well. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, turns occurring at this level here and so uh, that's where I would have found my support even though the fan lines didn't do anything on that one so you certainly want to utilize all your tools as a matter of fact after I've let me get rid of that line there so it doesn't get too crowded here let's just say for example that I was to use I don't know did I or I'm not sure if I already used this one here but let's go from the extreme top my memory here is playing tricks. I want to find out where we are. Let's see. Did that do anything? No. And how about, let's see, the close is pretty much the same. It's almost at that high, so I don't think that's going to make a difference. Let's just give it a shot. Well, actually, it did make a little difference. That's pretty good. But I also like to utilize, for example, GAN racials, and I'd come in here and, and you know, apply a GAN racial tool and and sure enough, that, that actually worked out pretty good. So let me scoot over. You'll see that this bottom here um, not only was found with the fans when we were doing it, I believe it was this one right here, because we did find this earlier in this video. But it also, just a flat, static GAN retracement, 62.5%. Uh, so. Uh, that worked out well, which means obviously that the Fibonacci one will probably be just as close. They're pretty much the same ratios, pretty much. Yes. So, okay. So you you have these different Fibonacci and even GAN tools that you can use, but that's just a demonstration on how you can utilize the GAN, or excuse me, the fan lines, the Fibonacci uh, fan lines tools to calculate your uh, support and resistance and utilize them with other tools or trend lines to now there it was right there it's going off the close of that V formation so here we have this this fan here I'm, I'm kinda going off track here really quick and then I'm gonna apply the static Fibonacci again and here you have a situation where two different methods finds that support so that's what tools are for and that's how you would use the Fibonacci fan lines or the Fibonacci fan lines with the initial anchor on the close to locate potential support and resistance in uh, any freely traded market that you're analyzing. Well, thanks again for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe so that you will get timely notifications of future videos. And I will see you in that future video. Bye.